I'm George Barnes and I'm the Vice President of Katie Rich Farms. We are currently located in Midway, Kentucky. It's a 340 acre plot of land that Larry and Karen Doyle bought in 2007 as a cattle farm. The Doyles are a couple from New York City and Mr. Doyle was on the stock market in New York and then got the bug of horse racing at Saratoga and then he started buying yearlings and buying mares and he loved it so much he just had to buy a farm and wanted to come to Kentucky and over the past 13 years our farm manager Tammy Ingebrigtsen has developed a broodmare and yearling program that has allowed us to be a full service operational farm. We have about 90 horses now, give or take. Horses going to the track, coming back from the track, new babies coming up every week. I'm from Kentucky. I went to the University of Kentucky to study horses. I got an animal science degree and an MBA focusing in the equine industry. And it's a really exciting opportunity to get in with somebody who's as passionate for the business as Larry Doyle is. Our philosophy is contact. We like every day we want to pick feet, weigh the babies, take their temperatures. We really believe that human contact allows them to learn better and be a little more trainable. And they can have all the talent in the world, but if they're not trainable, you can't really do anything with them. So we just, we want to put out horses that are trainable. We get compliments every year at Keeneland from our two-year-olds to say they're the best behaved babies there. Well, it's actually been an exciting few years for Katie Rich. Our most successful racehorse by earnings was Lady Apple, who we bred and co-owned with Phoenix Thoroughbreds, and she got third in the Kentucky Oaks a few years ago, and so she's been a horse that we really hung our hat on the past few years. Well, Apple Down Under is out of Miss Mary Apples, and out of, I mean, her mother is Miss Mary Apples, who was the first yearling that Larry purchased in 2001 and she would go on to produce three stakes winners for Katie Rich Farms. So she was really a foundational broodmare for Katie Rich Farms. And she, she was the mother of Lady Apple. And so she was really important to the farm and Apple Down Under is one of her daughters. And so she's one of our most exciting young broodmare prospects. And we really wanted to support her with Strong Stallions. So that's how we ended up sending her to Tisnow and getting the filly that my racehorse bought last year. What I remember about her is that she was the second foal out of Apple Dunder, and I remember she was a lot bigger than the first foal, which is to be expected. Sometimes the first foals aren't as big, but then we got this filly, and she was looking a lot more like Tis now than she was Apple Dunder, which we liked. I and mean, we were at Katie Richard trying to breed classic two turn horses, and nobody exemplifies that better than Tis now. And she was one of those fillies who she sort of checked all the boxes. She never really gave us many issues. And that's why we thought she was capable of fitting into the Fezzik Tipton Select sale last September. And when you check a mare and it's pregnant, that's the most excited I get. Because then you just have a new horse with unlimited potential. And so breeding season and getting mares in foal and then having the new foals every year, all that is just, it's the best time of the year for me. Ever since I got involved, just being around these animals and this sport, and there's so much history embedded in it, and being Kentucky, and it sort of just gives me a lot of pride to be involved in horse racing, and it's sort of just been so rewarding being around horses, and anytime you're around a good horse, it's, it's the best feeling, and I don't really think I could get that feeling anywhere else. I am horse racing. Mm -hmm.